Good day everyone, Complaining Gamer here. Today we're going to take a look at an absolute game changer in terms of FPS in Zelda Breath of the Wild in Simu, a Wii U emulator. For those of you who regularly follow my content, you will be familiar with the name Vlutz. Now he has developed an application which is capable of manipulating many things in the game. Recently this program has developed into an absolute game changer, whereas before it was good, now it is absolutely incredible. There is genuine FPS improvement. One of the most amazing things about this is it all happens with one simple click. If you are sensitive to spoilers, I should tell you now that we are going to visit many main locations within the game. If you're curious about what else this application can do, then I will include links down below to previous content which I've done on this app. Long story short, what Vlods has managed to achieve here has absolutely blown me away. I have seen an FPS increase in every area of the game. So for example, I'm now seeing up to 30 FPS in towns and villages, whereas in the past I got nowhere near that. In testing most major areas from Gerudo to Goron to Kakariko to Hatino to Korok, of course I did see dips because those areas are still very very intense, but that all comes back to my hardware. The reality of this application is that the frame rate is unlocked up to 60 fps but the other main focus is game speed so for example let's say your hardware isn't strong enough and it can maintain 10 fps 15 fps 20 fps what this application will always do is keep you at 100 percent game speed so there'll be no speed change there'll be no fluctuation so even if your hardware isn't good enough you can still use this application one of the things i like about my hardware being a bit limited and you can find the specifications in the description below is the fact that it's a bit more representative of a worldview. There are many users with high-end i5s and i7s, which are great, and they're displaying these different features, but the problem is they represent the top 10% of the community, not the bottom 90%. So I'm a bit closer to the community as a whole and can give you a slightly better idea of what's going on. However, if you are that top 10%, you will also see an increase, of course. With that unlocked frame rate, you will see frame rates from 30 to 40 to 50 to 60. But the problem is, not really many people are maintaining 60 FPS all the time because that really does require a super high-end high clock speed. When it does come to testing, a lot of focus is placed on towns and villages purely because they're some of the most taxing areas in the game. But I also think that for the most part, we can kind of forget towns and villages because they're more useful for testing more so than actual game experience because you actually spend a very little amount of time in those places. What's more important is the open world performance. And with this app, I was absolutely stunned. I witnessed huge open world performance increase. It was very consistent and very smooth. And of course, as a main feature of this app, always at 100% game speed, regardless of potential FPS dips or increases. As this app stands today, and you can guarantee that it will improve over time, it has to be one of, if not the ultimate solution for pretty much every user out there, whether it's low end or high end. Because remember, not only does it focus on improving that FPS, it also looks at game speed. So if you can only maintain 10 FPS, fine. If you can maintain up to 50 and above, you are also covered. Now, as always, The Complaining Gamer is the ultimate source for honesty and transparency and credit where credit is due and shout outs where people need shout outs. Some of you are aware of Lud's work and some of you aren't. This is a paid application and no, it's not actually released yet. Let's talk about some of the reasons why. There is a good number of you out there that want to get your hands on this application. Let's talk about why it's been delayed. The amount of features that Vlutz has added to this over the past month is absolutely staggering. Just recently he told me that in the past three days he's had three hours sleep. So between adding features and bug fixing, he has constantly been extending the release date. This has been why it's so difficult to be specific about when and where this app will be released and the method of payment. I personally don't have that information. It's a case of it's ready when it's ready. What I can tell you is that Vlods has been working tirelessly on this application and his focus is absolutely on quality. When it comes to any point that you may agree or disagree with strongly, I would highly encourage you to try and be measured. If the idea of paying really bothers you, then the answer is simple, don't pay. 
If you have a constructive point to make, then please make it well. So there you go, people. Absolutely incredible work from Bloods, which is going to transform my and your experience for good. We'll talk about other FPS alternatives in the very near future. If you enjoy what I do on the Complaining Gamer channel, remember to click that like button. If you want to see more from me, please feel free to subscribe. As always, I'm ready to answer any question or open a discussion in the comment section below, so please feel free to get involved there. Take care, have an awesome day, and I will see you next time.